everyone welcome to yet another episode of in conversation with so today we are at uh, Rotorua in the Toi Ohmai Institute of Technology and we have a very special guest with us here today that's Kavita Dutt and she is the program manager of uh, information technology department here uh, thank you very much uh, for you know finding time to be with us today how are you today i'm good thank you so a uh, first question for you like what are certain aspects of this particular course when i say course you can like start off your answer with what course it, it is at first so what are the aspects of this course that is designed in a way that it is job ready for our students kiora uh, greetings from to ohoma institute of technology to all our future it students who are thinking of coming to new zealand and pursuing a career in it um, IT is very famous here in New Zealand and it is actually also very very much in demand around the world um no matter what we are studying in IT whether it's um networking technical support mm -hmm. software development web design um we have a range of courses that we teach here in IT um at Toy Ohomai Institute of Technology Uh, we have two campuses one is here in Rotorua where we are based today mm -hmm. and we also have another campus which is 45 minutes away from here um in Tauranga yeah. now um our students here start at a level 5 moving on to level 6 and level 7 which is um undergraduate mm -hmm. or even we can have students who are interested in just coming at a graduate diploma level mm -hmm. which is a level 7 according to NZQA okay according to the New Zealand qualifications authority framework okay. now the courses that students do in class is very much practical hands on mm -hmm. uh with theory as well which could be lecture based in a classroom environment but most of the time our students are in a computer lab like here today oh, okay yes. so, so very hands on a good share of their time is actually spent here isn't yes. it yes okay. um out of their learning hours most of their learning hours is in a computer lab mm -hmm. uh, the, the the lecturer would be doing a lot of theory talking at the same time is giving students time to work on practical aspects of mm -hmm. their courses okay students do a lot of work integrated learning which is a good which is one of the aspects of um studying IT mm -hmm. is that the things that you learn in class is very much applied to what is required of you when you go out mm -hmm. and start a job with your employers yeah. we also do projects that students can uh work on with other students in the class they can pair up or they can be in a group which is also designed to accommodate the requirements of the the employer or the industry okay. and what is in demand so we do have list of projects or we can even be approached by employers to to do a particular project and then we will give it to students to do okay so you do come together as a group to work on the projects so you mentioned it starts off from level 5 right uh, for these of uh, we've always had inquiries from um students who are interested in coming at a diploma level 5 uh -huh. okay. and then working their way to level 6 so they oh, okay. are in new zealand for 2 years so level 5 is your first year mm -hmm. and then level 6 is your second year so that's how um that's structured it yeah, it is yeah. structured yeah, yeah. otherwise we can have students who are interested in coming to new zealand just for one year which is the graduate diploma level but for these students they need to have done a degree or have enough work experience from before oh okay to meet the entry requirements of the level 7 program oh, okay uh, another thing that uh, comes to our mind is about um how does this course actually help the students into you know uh, achieving those certifications that they are really keen on mm -hmm. do you want to talk about that yes now we do teach the networking technical support courses which is based here in the Rotorua campus mm -hmm. and the reason that we teach these courses here in Rotorua is because we have the labs that can actually um provide that support to our students. Mm -hmm. We have a dedicated server room. Oh, okay. We also have dedicated computer uh, two computer labs where students can just come in and and do networking technical support courses. 
Okay. Now these courses are designed in a way that they can align to the Cisco or the Microsoft certifications. Right. Okay. Now, however, we do not offer formal certifications on site here. Okay, okay. But if students were to study with us, what they could do is they could further on, once they are finished with their studies, they could move on and do these formal certifications okay. at their own pace. And okay. it's, it's always handy in IT to have some formal certifications as well on the side, uh -huh. apart from just having a diploma or a degree. Okay. Because with current industry requirements, you, um, it's quite useful to have um, added certifications. Oh, right, right. So whether it's um, Microsoft or Cisco certifications. Uh, or any other certifications which is something that students can relate to, mm -hmm. we do encourage. But okay. it's, it's just that we do not offer the, these on site here. All right, right, right. Mm -hmm. But it, 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 the, I mean, the, the way that the entire thing is structured, it sounds like, you know, it, it'll just prepare them, to, you know, to be out there. Like, yes, it, it, it pretty much sounds like that. So speaking of which, um, what is really the employment success ratio of our students over here? The uh, for Oturua, the employment areas of uh, for highlight is the networking technical support area. We have a lot of small businesses in Oturua, mm -hmm. and these businesses need a lot of IT um, network support person. They need a lot of help desk staff. They need a lot of um, technicians. So basically, you're saying there's quite a good demand over here. Uh, in Rotorua for network, network okay. and for hardware, mm -hmm. for technical specialists. Now, if we go to Tauranga, which I in initially mentioned, which is 45 minutes away from here, that's the campus where we mo uh, mainly teach software development and web design. Oh. Now, that is a bigger city than Rotorua, mm -hmm. and there's more demand for programmers, for app developers, for web designers in Tauranga. Hence the reason we have um, allocated the teaching of software and web design to Tauranga. Right, okay, okay. And there's more job opportunities for students in these areas, as I mentioned, in Tauranga. Oh, okay, okay. Yes. So do you see all of your, uh, the students over here, do they, do they all end up with, you know, uh, satisfying, satisfactory jobs? Or, uh, you know, the jobs that match their, uh, what do you say, their, their skill set or whatever? Yes, we, we do have students who are in Rotorua or in Tauranga during their studies. But of course, after their studies, they do move to places outside of Tauranga or Rotorua. They okay. could move to Hamilton, Christchurch, Wellington, or other locations around New Zealand where they are able to secure. Is that the trend, trend that you normally see? Yes, we do. Oh, yes, okay. we, have a, we have a lot of students who have um, actually, um, after studies, moved out of Rotorua or Tauranga to find secure jobs in other locations around New Zealand. Okay. That is to meet the job market because sometimes the job market is more in another location than in then and yeah, yes. then right, yes. right, right. One of the most uh, sought after questions are like the pay. Yes. <laughs> How is the pay for like a student one who does not come with much of a background, two for someone who comes with you know a great background? Yes. So. Now initially I mentioned about uh, students doing a diploma which is at a level 5 or level 6. Mm -hmm. Now definitely because you are just starting out in IT mm -hmm. then of course your pay scale will be different to someone who's coming at a graduate diploma level because with a graduate diploma you already have years of work experience right. prior. Right. You would even have a formal qualification as well mm -hmm. when you have entered New Zealand so your pay scale will vary very much oh, okay. depending on the level of course that you do here okay. with, with us at Toy Oh My. But at the same time, there are a lot of um, job search sites where students can go in and just have a feel of the, the different jobs which is advertised in IT in New Zealand, but also the pay scale. Because it does vary on the employees as well as to how much they are willing to pay their staff. And also the level of uh, entry Mm -hmm. that they need a staff to be. Okay. Do they need someone at a junior level? Do they need oh, someone to start okay. at like a graduate level graduate. or at a senior level? So their, their pay would definitely vary. Okay. And what is also is, uh, is interesting is that depending on the field in IT that you focus on, then your pay will matter as well. Mm -hmm. So for app developers, for programmers, for coders, 
that your pay might be different to someone who's a network engineer or a technical specialist. Oh, right. So right. it okay. does vary within the IT field as well. Yeah, that's right. uh, how about the internship opportunities that students have in, during the course? Yes. Um, Toy Ohomai has uh, very good relationships with um, its stakeholders. Stakeholders in the sense is our employers. Mm -hmm. And uh, what happens is that every semester we do have employers approaching us for any internships. Oh, okay. And now that, just as an example, summer mm -hmm. is coming along, so they do need a lot of summer interns, interns or yeah. there's job opportunities for graduates, mm -hmm. or even for students who are studying and can do part-time work. Right. So whether it's Rotorua or Tauranga based, when we receive requests, what we do is we email our students mm -hmm. because we have a database of students okay. and then we would request CVs or bio data okay. of our students. Okay. And when that happens, then we would forward to the employers and then from then they will start their, okay. their it's, process. It's nice to know that the students have like, you know, end-to-end -end support when it comes to internships. And yes. Stuff. Yeah, yes. that's good. That's and, good. and what also happens is at the end of the semester, students email us their CVs, mm -hmm. their bio data, which we do keep on file. Mm -hmm. So if we do have any future uh, job requests or opportunities, then we make sure that we do email um, that to our employers mm -hmm. with, with some just um, hope that they might be still looking for looking students. For, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. So that's a good relationship we have with our stakeholders. But we also try to keep our students in the in the loop as well because mm -hmm. that's what is current with okay. them in the industry. Would you want to um, highlight on some of the other um, key areas in IT like you know web develop web, web development, software development, cyber security? So. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else that, that might you know, uh, be of interest to our students mm -hmm. in those areas? As I mentioned before, that networking and technical support is taught at the Rotorua campus. Mm -hmm. Now, the students who are wishing to pursue networking and technical support as a future area of study can, um, can think of becoming network engineers, server administrators, systems engineers, help desk technicians, support analyst. Mm -hmm. So these are the varied roles that students could do in that area. Okay. Now students who are wishing to pursue software development, web design mm -hmm. as well, can, can focus more on being pro uh, programmers. Um, they could be mobile app de developers, mm -hmm. they could actually be business analysts, they could go for these types of jobs. They can even be project managers because you do require the, the skills yeah. of, uh, of being a project yeah. manager. Uh, the, the things that you will learn in your courses helps you become a project manager. Uh, you can also start thinking of perhaps um, if you want to be a database administrator. We know that some students want to pursue database mm -hmm. um, administration or management mm -hmm. um, or data entry operators then those are the areas to do under the web design or software development. And not forgetting developing your own websites or oh, okay. having a little um, uh, business if you want business to pursue skill, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, of, um, developing websites. So those are some of the areas for our students to pursue. Nice. So, so Kalita, you've mentioned so many good things about these uh, courses. So um, lastly, let me ask you, like, why would a student want to uh, you know, opt for Toyo or my, like? What is your recommendation for that? I would suggest students to come to Toy Ohomai Institute of Technology. We are located in a very beautiful part of New Zealand, which is the Bay of Plenty. Uh, we have two campuses, Rotorua, and then 45 minutes away from Rotorua, we have a Tauranga campus. Rotorua has a beautiful landscape with forest, mountains, and a beautiful lake. Tauranga is near the ocean, which is a beautiful wow. feel as well when you are there as a student. Uh, there's lots of job opportunities for students in both of these locations. Um, students choosing to do networking and technical support will be provided guidance and course uh, selections here in Rotorua. But students who wish to do software and web design will be advised to go to the Tauranga campus, which is where we will be teaching these programs. And either location that students choose will be of benefit to our future students. 
um, as I mentioned before, is that they have a market for jobs in both of these yeah, locations. That's the highlight, right? Yeah. Yes, that is the highlight. There is a market for jobs. There is um, there's also opportunities for accommodation mm -hmm. and also for, uh, for finding um, your new new step in life. Mm -hmm. and, and just um, being in Rotorua or Tauranga will be good for our students. Right, okay. That's perfect. I think you've pretty much covered all of the, you know, questions that students have on the top of their minds. So. It's uh, pretty cool. Thank you so much for okay. uh, you know Thank you. Uh, finding time to be with uh, and talk talk to AJV and our future students about you know your hot courses over here. Yes. Thank so you. thank you very much. Thank you very much, and all the best uh, to our future students who are thinking of coming to New Zealand and um, of pursuing a career in IT. Thank you.